Yo, welcome back to more Mansa. It is your boy Mansa. We back again with another reaction video, guys. Look, man, we got another Trevor Noah video. We're gonna be talking about BTS joins the South South Korean military, bro. When I seen this, bro, I was like, boy, there ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way they joined the military, bro. We're gonna go ahead and check this out. What's going on? If y'all new here, smash the sub and like the video. Let's get it. Announced that there is a nationwide shortage of Adderall. Really? <laughs> so, if you don't have a genuine need for it, please save it for anyone who has a legitimate prescription. And if you do have a prescription, now is the time to sell it at school, kids. Cash in. <laughs> Make that money. Look, y'all. I had ADHD as a kid. I probably still do have ADHD. I'm not gonna lie. But, um... I was supposed to take that stuff, but my mom didn't. She was like, nah. She was like, nah. In international news, the superstar K-pop band BTS has announced that its members will soon begin reporting for mandatory service in the South Korean military. Yeah, which is great news for South Korea. <laughs> bro, could this, you see them out on the battlefield, bro? He's basically this... unstoppable now. There's no army in the world <laughs> that is gonna take a shot at these guys. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who's gonna be stupid enough to take a shot? Everyone's a fan. Yeah. Enemy soldiers are gonna be like, ah, I just got stabbed by Jin. This is the last and best day of my life. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, in tech news, Kanye West announced today that he is going to buy the right-wing social media platform Parler because, quote, see. he wants to make sure we have the right to freely express ourselves. <laughs> and thank God, because I've been waiting to hear Kanye's unfiltered thoughts on things. <laughs> I you just never get to hear that. You, you guys ever hear of anything he has to say? So shy. <laughs> so shy. All right, let's move on to some of the biggest stories of the day, starting as we so often do with Donald Trump. And I know, I know, I know when Trump is in the news, it's usually because he was caught doing more crimes, but this time, it's also because of that. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to crime. What can I say? So, let's find out about his latest one in our ongoing segment, America's Most... Boy, that, that, that gesture right there about Trump. <laughs> hey, Trump going crazy. When did this happen? You may remember that after he left the White House, Trump created his own social media app called Truth Social which is basically just Twitter, but for white supremacists. Mm. And before you say, wait, aren't the white supremacists already on Twitter? Yes, but on Truth Social, they're verified. Now, believe it or they're not... They're verified. Believe it or <laughs> not, there might also be a Yo. dark side to Truth Social. A whistleblower is now accusing former President Trump's social media company of violating federal securities laws. Will Wilkerson is a former executive at Trump Media and Technology Group, which launched the Truth Social platform. He tells the Washington Post that Trump's company tried to raise capital by making fraudulent misrepresentations about its finances. The SEC is now investigating. The co-founder uh -oh. told the Washington uh -oh. Post the former president asked one executive to relinquish his shares in the company to former First Lady Melania Trump and had him removed from the board of directors when he refused. What? Donald Trump's social media platform was reportedly engaged in shady financial gimmicks. <gasps> How? It's Boy, no way. social. I don't know what to believe anymore. Oh, oh. Boy, no way. You know, one of the most interesting allegations is that he tried to bully one of his board members into giving his shares to Melania, which is just so romantic. <laughs> Yeah, ladies, find you a man who will commit securities fraud for you. Are you kidding? <laughs> you have to admit, though, shares in Truth Social are a weird gift, you know? It, it almost sounds like Trump didn't remember until the last minute. He was just like, of course I remembered your birthday, Melania. I got you... Uh, I, I got Truth Social shares. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> totally love it. Totally love it. And also, also the tie I'm wearing. <laughs> the funny thing is, Truth Social is such a failure of a company that she probably didn't even want the shares. <laughs> you know, it, it's almost like when your kids give you that, that gift, but it's just like a piece of macaroni art for your birthday. You know, she was probably just like, oh, so cute. You think this is worth something. Thank you, Donald. <laughs> now, just to be clear, just to be clear, though, I am totally on Trump's side in this story. Yeah. Yeah, 
it's the year 2022. If you go into business with Donald Trump and you are surprised that you got scammed. That's on you. That's on you. Thanks. What were you thinking? Well, I, I know the last guy that Trump worked with almost got hanged by an angry mob, but I think I'm gonna turn out fine. I, I don't know what could go wrong. I don't know what could go wrong. For me, what shame on you. But let's move on. Oh, shoot. From Donald Trump to this year's hot new mini Trump, Herschel Walker. Georgia Senate candidates and closed captioning's worst nightmare. There are a lot of controversies swirling around Walker. His attack on absentee parents, despite being one. His opposition to abortion, despite allegedly paying for one. His attempt to become a senator, despite not knowing how many states America has. <laughs> and in his first debate over the weekend, Walker tried to clear up one controversy with a little prop comedy. At a debate Friday night, Herschel Walker responded to accusations that he has pretended to be a police officer by flashing what appeared to be a fake badge. I have to respond to that. And you know what's so funny? I am work with many police officers. In a new interview, the former football Man. star says the badge is real. He this says guy got he got it from the much. sheriff of Johnson County, Georgia. Walker clarified it's an honorary badge. The National Sheriff's Association said an honorary badge. The guy thought he was Walker, Trump Texas Trump Ranger Trump. for a minute. I make the decision right, to flash totally, it at the that debate. That is totally not true. You know, <laughs> I don't know what's crazier in the story. The fact that this man lied about being in law enforcement or the fact that he pulled out a fake badge during a debate. Bro, I know it. <laughs> during a debate. <laughs> Oh, the fact that after the Sheriff's Association said that his badge is just an honorary one, he said, no, they're wrong. They're totally wrong. <laughs> That's totally, like, it, it almost makes me wonder, how many people has Herschel Walker arrested, huh? <laughs> is there someone locked up in his basement right now who's just like, is this a real prison? There's a foosball table in here. <laughs> He's like, it's an honorary prison. <laughs> Does he treat every symbolic object like this? Like, people say I'm an absentee father, but if that were true, why would I have this world's best dad mug, huh? <laughs> not okay dad, not a good dad, world's best dad, that's official. In fact, yeah. I have seven of these mugs to prove it. <laughs> and some I haven't even received yet. <laughs> you know, the saddest part of this story is that there are people who are gonna believe that Herschel Walker was in law enforcement because he pulled out this badge. This is something I've learned in America. People see it, they believe it. It's the same way there were people who believed that Trump actually did step away from his company just because he posed next to a stack of empty folders. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, he's lying. People are like, why would he be lying? He's standing next to empty folders. Well, would he stand next to them if it wasn't true? Are you next to empty folders? No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> but it's honorary. Like, Taylor Swift, for instance, got an honorary doctorate from NYU this year. But you don't see her in the operating room like, well, killed another one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get lunch and try again later. Yes, maybe I'll try brains next time instead of hearts. <laughs> uh, Boy. I will say, the one upside of this whole story, though, is there is some good news. Because this means that Georgia voters don't even need to elect Herschel Walker senator. They can just give him a certificate that says... Honorary senator. senator. He won't know the difference. <laughs> Yo. Boy, no way. But let's move on. To some criminal justice news. Okay. Right now, a right-wing militia member named Paul Bella is on trial for hatching a plot back in 2020 to kidnap the governor of Michigan. Which means every day, the jurors have to look at a man accused of an evil, heinous crime. Just imagine that, every day staring into those eyes. Are you turned on? <laughs> no, because apparently someone was. Wait a minute, what? Well, a juror has been dismissed from the trial of three men in connection with the 2020 plot to kidnap Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. She was dismissed by the judge on Friday after attorneys accused her of flirting with one of the defendants. Now, the flirtatious behavior was described as nonverbal communication in the form of eye contact and smiles between the juror and defendant Paul Bellar. While the prosecutor originally pointed out the conduct, several others, including Bellar's attorney, stated that they had seen interactions between the two. The judge dismissed the juror out of an abundance of caution. God damn, first of all, congrats to this woman for finding a new way to get out of jury duty, huh? <laughs> Truly an inspiration. Oh, no. what? Interactions between the two as nonverbal communication in the including Bellar's attorney, stated that they had seen interactions between the two. The judge dismissed the juror out of an abundance of caution. Oh, God, damn, what they knew each the other. Jury, 
sentenced the defendant to life with me. <laughs> I guess the real lesson here is that bad boys stay winning. This guy's literally on trial for trying to kidnap the governor. Huh? And he's still getting love. It's always like this. Every famous criminal has all these groupies who are like, is there a Mesa serial killer? <laughs> oh, oh, there was, but you chopped her into little pieces? So you're single now. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I, I would like to know how this happened. How did this happen? Because when you report for jury duty in America, they make you watch a video that expressly tells you what you should and shouldn't do. Please remember, <laughs> while performing this sacred civic duty, it is important to... I've never, I've never got on jury duty, so I don't know. Reading about the case in the news, going like this to the defendant, going like this to the defendant, going like this to the defendant, Thank you for your service, and please don't try to smash. Yeah. Everyone watches that video. How did that happen? All right, finally. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's talk about the latest news in Russia's war with Ukraine. If you've been following the war... What's going on, man? You know that man? almost everybody has been helping Ukraine fight off the world's worst Botox customer. America is sending weapons. The EU is sending financial assistance. England is sending Prince Andrew. Not to help, they just <laughs> want to get rid of him. But it may surprise you to know who has been giving Ukraine Ooh. their internet service and how close it recently came to going away. Elon Musk reversing course. The billionaire now says his SpaceX company will continue to fund Ukraine's critical satellite service. SpaceX's Starlink internet service has been a vital source of communication for the Ukrainian military during its war with Russia. The reversal coming after exclusive CNN reporting that SpaceX sent a letter to the Pentagon warning that it may stop funding the service unless the U.S. military kicks in tens of millions of dollars each month. Musk tweeting this weekend, the hell with it. Even though Starlink is still losing money and other companies are getting billions of taxpayer money, we'll just keep funding the Ukraine government for free. You know, Elon Musk is the only person who can do a good thing, but in the bitchiest way possible. <laughs> you know, it's just like, guess I'll just keep helping Ukraine for free. <laughs> like, look, I'm not gonna even try to tell Elon Musk how to use his money, but I will tell you this, Elon, this is not how you get remembered as an inspiring figure in history, right? You're doing a good thing, but then you're saying it like that? Can you imagine if Martin Luther King Jr. had this attitude when he was trying to do his good? Uh-uh. I have a dream. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess. Because I don't see nobody else having a dream, so I guess it's on me. I got to sleep 20 hours a day because these bitch asses don't want to come up with dreams of their own. People be like, Martin, you want to go to the club, but I can't. I gotta go home to sleep because I gotta have a dream. There's some bullshit, but I guess I gotta do it anyway. Uh-uh. It wouldn't be the same. No, I wouldn't be the same. Can I tell you what I think happened here? What I think happened here is Elon Musk saw an opportunity to be the good guy and make a lot of money. Give the Ukrainians internet, but then, over time, have the American government step in and pick up the tab. Yeah. But because they said no, now he's stuck. <laughs> he is. Keep losing money or be the asshole who cut off Ukraine's internet. And I know some yeah. people think Elon is evil, but he's not cable company evil. Come on. <laughs> and Boy. I actually get Elon's frustration, because think about it. Think about it. Weapons manufacturers aren't donating missiles to Ukraine. The U.S. government is paying them. So Elon is going, well, why shouldn't I get paid? And also, like everyone else, I'm sure Elon didn't expect the war to go on for this long. You know, it's sort of like when you hold the door open for someone, right? <laughs> but then other people keep walking through the door. So you're holding the door for 20 minutes, and finally you let go, and then it slams some old lady in the face. She's like, ah, oh, you broke my nose! And then your boss runs up, and he's like, you're fired! And you're like, I don't even work here! He's like, not with that attitude, you don't! And now you're an asshole, and you're unemployed, just because you were trying to be nice. All right, that's it for the headlines. But before we go to a quick break, let's check in on the stock market with our finance expert, Michael Costa, everybody! <laughs> All right, we ain't worried about the stop market right now. We just wanted to see the funny stuff. Man, look, man, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction commentary. Shout out to Trevor Noah, man. If you want me to react to more Trevor Noah's on the channel, let me know in the comment section below. If you're going to enjoy this, stay tuned. My name is Peace.